Rebirth of Nokia, that's our second story. And I think out of all the phones they've released, they've done interesting things since they've come back, the HMD Nokia part of it. But ever since they've come back, their momentum has been good, but not absolutely fantastic. But this could be the phone that changes it all. Now, Nokia, the new Nokia, has taken the legacy of the previous Nokia. They make solid phones. It's a great brand. It's a great legacy to play with because literally everything is very high quality. This is the no compromise phone in every which way in terms of the way it's built, the design. But now Nokia gets aggressive with, I think, the last part of the puzzle, and that is higher specs, a more aggressive, lower price. And this could be the start of that, the Nokia 5.1 Plus. Here's our Selguru review. After the success of Nokia 6.1 Plus, HMD Global is hitting the ball out of the park with yet another phone in the series. This is the Nokia 5.1 Plus. And Plus is right as it comes with a lot of Plus features like a big screen and a big battery that makes it a hit. But at 10,999 rupees, is it a hit or a miss on being a value for money phone? Let's find out. On the design front, the Nokia 5.1 Plus is a show stealer. It is a very slim and light phone and has round edges and a sleek finish. The back has high gloss finish and we got the black variant for review which looked quite premium. Nokia jumped onto the notch bandwagon with the 6.1 Plus and even this phone sports a notch. The notch does not interfere while watching videos though as they get letterboxed. Coming to the display, when switched on, Nokia gives us a familiar and nostalgic tone before you see the brilliant display. The phone has an HD Plus display with sharp and very bright colours. Contrary to its name, it's not a plus size phone and the size of the display is 5.8 inches and it feels comfortable to hold and use, even with one hand. The big plus with this phone is that it runs pure Android. Yes, this phone is an absolute breeze with Android 1 based on Android Oreo. The UI is neat and clutter-free and the phone will remain up-to-date over time. Hmm, Nokia claims this phone is ready for the next Android update too. And we can't wait for the pie. Well, the processor on this phone adds to the smooth experience. It has a MediaTek Helio P60 processor which lends its speed and power to handle gaming and other apps. We played a game for quite a long time on this phone and it ran well without heating. We also opened and used several apps and it did so without any lag. Looking further under the hood, there is 3GB RAM and 32GB storage which can be expanded and the storage seems sufficient for day-to-day -day use. There's also a fingerprint scanner at the back to open the phone which works smoothly. Coming to the optics on the Nokia 5.1 Plus, it has a vertically stacked dual camera setup at the back with a 13 megapixel and 5 megapixel lens. There is live bokeh mode which gives images great depth and even various color filters that add richness to images that are clicked. The bokeh was quite accurate and we liked the result of the pictures. The front shooter is 8 megapixel and does well in good light. There are a whole host of stickers for a splash of fun on this phone. Known to be reliable and long-lasting, Nokia does not disappoint with the 5.1 Plus as well. It has a huge 3060 mAh battery which lasted us one day of normal use. There is no fast charge feature though on this phone. The cell grew verdict. With Nokia 5.1 Plus, consumers now have a solid phone at 10,999 rupees. Nokia is levelling the playing field in this price segment and now with the 5.1 Plus, there is an option against the likes of Xiaomi and Honor. Do consider it as this phone is definitely reliable.